Now, let's go around the corner. Here again, we have our next panel. And you'll have to disregard the numbers because I, uh, I put two different kits together. <laughs> and in the process, uh, we got 20 up to 23, and then we dropped down to 10 for some reason. Now, this panel, again, coming from Intercept, is going to have that bottom notch already taken out of it. And we talked about this OSB sliding through, but this has to go around that plate. So the panel will set in place, and it slides just like that. And we made it around the corner. Now, this panel has a two by here in the top that runs the full length, and that lines up with it. So we get that all together. Now we can take our eight pennies and again, shoot into that, and that makes a remarkable corner. So typically speaking, when I come to a house to start building it, I will start in a corner and I will use just drywall screws and tack together one corner. And ultimately, that, that panel on this side is the last panel I'm gonna install, but I use it to brace the corner. And then you can continue on and you don't have to worry about, about bracing it as you go. Now, if you've got a long wall, you're gonna wanna put some braces in some windows um, after you plumb it up. And, and make sure you straighten it out. And like with any other construction, when before you start going on to your roof panels, you're gonna wanna string it and straighten it and make sure that you have it exactly where you want it. But that gets you that corner. And, and like I say, when I, when I get the last thing, that, I mean, around the house, the last thing I'll do then is take this, this panel out, build my wall to that point, and then slide that panel in. And, and put it all together.